If you like Neil Simon, this has definitely been a great year for you. The Brighton Beach Memoirs, Biloxi Blues, and now the Broadway Bound. All three plays in his famous trilogy have appeared on stages across South Florida. And this is the lady who plays Eugene Morris Jerome's mom. <laughs> Carol Shelley, welcome. It's Thank nice you, to meet you. Thank you. I have not gotten a chance to see Broadway Bound. I, I would really like to catch it. You are British born. Yes. But you're an American actress. Yes. Well, you st still sound British to me. Well, if they pay me enough money, I can keep sounding British. If they pay me even more money, I can lose it like that. Well, we were just discussing. I said, how does a woman with a uh, British accent play a nice I'm Jewish not, mother a, from Brooklyn? I don't have a truly British accent anymore. Uh, I'm sort of no, mid-Atlantic. Okay. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> so, Swear to God, I, I, don't sound, I don't sound English at all anymore. I wanted to hear a little bit of the, uh, of the Brooklyn Jewish mother from you. Yeah, but you see, it's, it's really hard for me to do because I have to really, I have to get into my uh, salt and pepper wig, I have to put on my schmata, and then I, I, then <laughs> I, feel, then I feel like uh, I was born in Brooklyn, you know. So all of a sudden the language starts changing as you put the wig on and then another garment and they... Uh, take my makeup off. Okay. How many actors do you know who go into the theater and take their makeup off? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the trilogy. It's really a story about Neil Simon. This has been a semi-autobiographical trilogy about Neil Simon, a.k.a. Eugene Morris Jerome. Uh, but this third part of the trilogy, the last part, is, um, I sounded really Boston then, last part, uh, <laughs> I can move anywhere, uh, is really about his mother, Kate, um, as seen through his eyes and his brother Stanley's eyes, as the, as the family, just the two boys leave home to become famous writers. And Kate's got a few problems uh, at this time. Her husband leaves her, that's a, one big problem. Um, and she's left alone with her father. Huh. And so it's full of laughs. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's a wonderful mixture. Neil Simon has a brilliant way of making you laugh because you recognize pain. People know you, uh, especially if they've been up to Broadway. Uh, when was it that you won the Tony Award for The Elephant Man? In 79. And then you just got done working on something very exciting. I had fun doing a wonderful musical for Tommy Toon called Stepping Out. But I think the most interesting thing, and probably people are sitting there going, hmm, hmm, <laughs> is that uh, this is my second Neil Simon play in the 23 years that I've lived in America. I was brought over to do The Odd Couple, so I'm... Yes, I am one of the pigeon sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a pigeon sister, and now I'm his mother. <laughs> how'd you hear about the part, and how'd you get involved with this play? Well, they kept asking me to go and meet with them, and I didn't want to play it. Why not? I didn't think I could. Why not? Why not, she says. Oh, come on, a Tony Award-winning actress. You can't play yes, it. But if you have any smarts, you read a play, and you say, yes, I can do this, or yes, I can see there's a huge challenge, but I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Sure. I saw no light at the end of this tunnel. I didn't think I could hack playing a Jewish mother for two well. and a half hours. <laughs> well, they proved everybody me wrong, and I'm very happy about everybody's it. Everybody's <laughs> going to have to go catch the play now and find out whether she can or not. I have all the confidence you can. Thanks well, for being thank here. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Coming up, the best.